Hi, I'm Ammon. I'm Van. And I'm, I need to start this. Thing. <laughs> I was wondering why that stalled out. <laughs> was it my fault? Uh, <laughs> hey, I'm Ammon. And I'm Van, so Ammon, can you tell us what we're doing here today? Well, we're gonna introduce our budget cinema series. So uh, we're gonna talk about what the word cinema means. People use that term and sometimes don't understand what it means. My advice is don't spend money on gear until you really know what cinematic means, if that's what you're going for. Right. Because you could spend a million dollars on gear and not know how to use it, and it's not gonna create cinematic footage. Right. I, I fell into that trap when I was younger. I'd buy a camera and now it's gonna be cinematic. And when it wasn't, I realized I had more to learn. Yeah, and on the other hand, you could take something like an iPhone out of your pocket and film really cinematic footage if you know what you're doing, like Steven Soderbergh does. So what all are we going to cover in the series? Well, we've got a few different segments that I think will be useful for people. One would be talking about cinematic footage. What is it? How do you do cinematic lighting? How do you do cinematic color correction? How do you do cinematic camera movement, um, art direction, those sorts of things? We'll look at some big budget films. You know, start with the best and break down how they did it and then break down how can you do that same effect but on a much lower budget. Yeah, and we're also gonna take a look at some shot breakdowns where we look at um, movies, we look at corporate projects that we've shot, we're gonna look at the gear that went into that, how it was set up and some tips on the techniques we used. Uh, we have people ask us, you know, I have the shot, it doesn't look very cinematic, what am I doing wrong? And to take that same shot and try and recreate it but with better footage, you know, cinematic footage, cinematic lighting, and kind of see how it works. We're also gonna do hands-on review of gear. You know, you can get really cheap, high-quality gear these days, but you can also buy gear and get it and realize it's a pile of hot steaming garbage and it doesn't work or it breaks after 10 minutes. So uh, we've been through that. We'll review it, we'll show you what to buy, what not to buy. And going along with that, I think we're gonna also dive into some tutorials on really getting into how to use that gear and troubleshoot any issues that do come up with it. Right, all the gear that we've used that we really like, we'll do tutorials on how to use it. So if you, uh, as you watch these segments, if you have ideas for new segments, new topics, please uh, suggest those yeah, to us. Anything at all, uh, if there's a specific, even obscure piece of gear you'd like to see looked at and reviewed, let us know. I love an excuse to buy a new piece of gear, so, Thanks for watching, we're looking forward to it.